it's me, Katerina from SAP s hana Product Management. Let's see what we have as highlight for sourcing and procurement with the first release in 2021. We start with some nice improvements in the workflow for purchase requisitions. A seamless user experience during the interaction of requesters and approvers in the purchase requisition approval process is essential, especially during these days of home office. Modern ERP systems must facilitate this development as the demand for digital collaboration is higher than ever. Thus, we improve our workflow processes by providing approvers with an option to communicate with requesters for any queries or rework without having to approve or reject the purchase requisition already. That way, chances of purchase requisition rejections are reduced and collaboration between colleagues within SAP as for HANA Cloud improved. Further enhancements come firstly with the option to exclude the requester from the approval list to ensure the 4i review principle and secondly through enhanced transparency and process efficiency in the approval process of self-service requisitioning with the display of approval steps and details. Our second highlight appears in the purchase order approval process where we show account assignment and schedule line information via the My Inbox app. Before a purchase order can be issued to a supplier, it might need to run through an approval workflow where an approver checks different facts to decide if the order can be approved or if it needs to be rejected. In order to provide the purchasing manager full transparency over the purchase order in approval, we decided to provide an overview on the respective account assignment and schedule line information that belongs to the purchase order. Navigate into an items detail page where the approver will see the item information next to the accounting information and in case of non-limit items schedule line information will also be shown. From here it is possible to navigate into the details of the account assignment to understand which accounts are to be charged when the incoming invoice or goods received is posted. This saves time for other tasks to do. Lastly, the integration between SAP Ariba Solutions and SAP s Cloud has been extended in two ways. With the guided buying capability in SAP Ariba Buying, buyers can add limit items in guided buying requests for goods and services and send them to SAP s Cloud. A request for limit items is characterized by validity periods to define the effective dates of the procurement process and predefined amount limits to control item prices, means users can add goods and services for which the price or quantity is not exactly known to their shopping cart while staying on budget. Second, purchasers can now create a request for a quotation that contains lean service items in SAP s hana Cloud and send it to SAP Ariba Sourcing for easy supplier discovery. Sourcing managers will perform all other sourcing related activities as usual to finalize the bids based on service delivery periods mentioned in the sourcing event. After one or more rounds of bidding, the sourcing manager awards a supplier or suppliers and decides whether a purchase order or purchase contract will be created in SAP s hana Cloud. And that wraps up all the highlights we have for you in this release. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed my update and want to know what else is coming, check out sap.com slash s4-cloud release. Now take care, over and out. <music>